Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to DFW Roundtable Podcast, Texas' most powerful and entertaining podcast. Bringing you the best in entertaining interviews from the industry's top music entertainers, sports athletes, and much more. So grab a seat and a cold one and watch, listen, and enjoy. And now, here is your host, Ruben Campos. Hey, and welcome back, everybody, to the DFW Roundtable podcast. It's with great honor I introduce this next guest uh, to everyone. JT Entertainment, Freddie Recording Artist, Nathan Acosta. Nathan, welcome to the to the podcast, man. Hello, hello, Ruben. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Glad to be here. Yeah, for sure, brother. Este, Nathan, uh, out of San Antonio, Texas, 18 years old, man. What a journey has it been for you? Uh, you know, talk to me a little bit uh, about how it came, uh, getting involved with JT Entertainment and working with the man himself, with Jesse Turner, right? Uh, how did he discover you, man? Man, it, it all happened so fast and crazy story, but I would just, uh, so I'm 18, I'm 18 years old and I would just, uh, do my thing, you know, on social media, post, I play accordion and sing. So I would just post my covers, doing my favorite songs, you know? And I'll tag the artist, hoping they would see it. And yeah, back in October, I posted a cover singing "Está Lloviendo" from Signo, and Jesse had shared it, but I didn't you know. I thought it was cool he shared it. I didn't think nothing right. else. Then the next day, I get a call from his manager, Yvette, and they were playing that day. I think it was like a Thursday or Friday, something weird like that. And she was like, "Turner wants to invite you to come out to the show." And I was like, "So weird out oh, because like." Out of nowhere, I was just, I remember sitting on my couch, just bored and the, yeah. <laughs> these calls, you know, and, um, yeah, so that's, uh, I went to the show and then I started talking to Turner. He was, um, asking me, you know, about my story, about how I got started. And, and then that's when he, um, he told me that he was like really interested in, in what I was doing and he would like to sign me up with his, his management. So that's how it started. Man, what, what a- what an awesome opportunity, man. And uh, just goes to shows that you just never uh, know, man, because you were just basically, you know, tagging some of these bands, man, and so forth. And quite frankly, man, for somebody up and coming, that's what it takes, man. You got to hit the social media to be seen, right? Uh, right. And, and thank God for the, for, the, for the kindness, man. He saw you and got you an invite to go. Now, did you perform that first night, man? Uh, no, I, I think they had like run out of, there was like short timing. I was supposed to, but I didn't go up. I was just watching it. I hadn't seen Signal like in 10 years, probably. So I was right. watching them and it was awesome. And then afterwards was whenever we went, I went to Jesse's hotel at, in San Antonio and we talked for like an hour, shed tears, you know, and like, got to really get to know yeah. each other more on like, a deeper level. So almost, you, you guys almost share uh, similar stories, man, because Jesse started very young as well, man. Uh, now, uh, at what age did you actually start playing accordion, man? Uh, nine years old, my uh, wow. abuelo bought me my first accordion. And then it took me a while to get any sort of, I didn't figure nothing out for, like, for like two or three years. And I was 12. Uh, I remember learning my first song, Throwers on Madrigals. And then I would just learn more and more songs. And I would just start figuring it out slowly but surely. Yeah, once you get the scales down, man, uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it becomes exactly. easier after that. <laughs> but it's a hard instrument, man, to learn. And then how about vocally, man? Uh, have Had you always sang or had you sang before or did you just start it all of a sudden uh, when you started getting with the accordion? Uh, no, I mean, I had always sang, but more so, I guess, whenever I, I knew this is what I want to do, like, I knew I had to sing, you know, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I just had that feeling. And then, well, my grandpa is a singer, so. Yeah. I, um, he's had a band, Los Cachis, Casumiro Castro. Un saludo para mi abuelo, si no está viendo. Um, Saludito. But yeah, I, he plays guitar and sings. So growing up, I would just see that, that, how like he would go perform in different places and take his equipment. Like that was cool to me, you know, I wanted to do that. Yeah. And yeah, so because of him really is why I sing. That's, I probably, probably wouldn't sing if it wasn't for him. Hey, well, that's pretty awesome, man. So you technically, man, you, you, you've had a mentor uh, knowing that your grandpa was doing it already. You got to see and experience a lot of that. So that's that's pretty cool, man, that you got to do that uh, and, and experience that, man. Uh, primero que nada, uh, uh, Nathan, vamos a también mandarle un saludito a toda la gente de México que lo está viendo, ¿no? Este, porque yo te está, estoy más que seguro que tu música va llegando allá. So <laughs> los invitamos a todos que escuchen el, el, el sencillo nuevo de Nathan Acosta. Eh, que se llama Solo. Y ahorita vamos a platicar un poquito más sobre eso. Pero vamos a, ¿Por qué no les mandas un saludito a todos allá, Nathan? 
Así es, saluditos a toda mi raza de México por todos lados, donde quieras que se encuentren. Saludos y les mando un abrazo muy fuerte, mi querido México. Eso, mano. Eso. So, ahí, ahí, ahí están. Uh, que, quédense contenidos a uh, las ruedas sociales y, y les aseguro que va a haber más, más noticias este, y, y seguimientos sobre la, la carrera de Nathan, ¿verdad? Pero el primer sencillo ya salió. And speaking of which, man, let's, let's talk about this since, since we're in the topic. Uh, your new single, brother, este, se llama Solo. Uh, yes, the song rocks, brother. Uh, the song Thank rocks. You. Yeah, it's, it, it rocks, man. And, and I can... The minute I heard it, man, I could I could hear that that kind of signal uh, sound right in it. So talk to me a little bit about it, Nathan. I stay, who who uh, who were the writers? Who, who was the writer? And and who, who were the producers on this thing? Oh, so that that night that I told you I met Turner, I went to his hotel. He one uh -huh. of his first questions that he had asked me was so random in the moment. He was like, uh, "I want to why'd you go missing?" He was like, "I want to know why you went missing." And uh, I'm sorry. So, that, that's uh, okay. I was like, it was so weird, you know, like, how is that going to be your first question? For me? <laughs> but, so I, I like, I was a little embarrassed. And then, you know, he, he like told me his story of what happened like, when he was younger. And I, I didn't feel so bad, you know. So then right. I opened up to him and told him um, that like about a year ago, I was going through a heartbreak. And of course, you know, at this age, we think. It feels like the end of the world. I I never been through yeah. a heartbreak like that. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah. I just kind of lost it, you know. In the moment, I had an impulsive moment. And I just left everything at home and walked. Uh, I went walking. I, thankfully, nothing happened to me, and I didn't do nothing worse. But uh, yeah, I went walking for like a day, and I was away from home. So of course, people were looking for me, and that was all over. And so yeah, that's how he saw it, and that's why he was like interested in that story. So I told him the same thing. I just went, you know, I just went walking. I didn't do nothing really. I was just trying to clear my mind. And then he, he didn't tell me he was going to write, nothing like that. You know, we just, he told me his story, like I said, and we shared a moment. Fast forward, I, I, we shared numbers. And then like two days later, I was in school, second period. I was eating breakfast and he sends me audio, the, the record, the video. He's, like, uh -huh. telling me about how, like, you know, I hope you don't mind. But, you know, I was thinking, and it's always good whenever we turn bad experiences in life, turn into something positive. Absolutely. And, yeah, he just starts with the guitar. Like, yeah, lo sé que tú. And I was like, wow, like, you know, yeah. what he wrote, it's like, it, he was it there with me. Yeah, and yeah. he knew what I was feeling. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. And I, I again, man, I, I could tell, man, that you guys had similarities from that perspective because, I mean, that – To me, man, that that album uh, that Jesse put out, man, uh, you could tell he's, he was heartbroken big time because every song, man, talks about it and it just hits home, right, from every aspect. And and I'm with you, man. When you lose that 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 first love, man, it crushes you. Yeah. As the, and and you lose your drive and your focus. But uh, luckily, man, you got it back and and look where you're at now, man. Thanks thanks to the Lord up there, right? Thank God, yeah. Everything everything happens for a reason, you know. And God's timing is. Perfect timing, you know, whether it doesn't seem like things are going to get better, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, someone, some of your age, right? And and that's something, you know, that you can be proud of, Nathan, that uh, to say and hopefully help somebody out that's going through that says, man, I've been in your same shoes, man. It, right. It's not the end of the world, right? I know it hurts, but uh, yeah, that, that'll be that'll be great, man. If you could ever reach out to somebody that's going through the same thing and kind of what Jesse did to you, man, you could pass it on and and help somebody else, man. Um, so Jesse obviously wrote the song, brother. And then wh what was, what was the plan after that? Uh, Hey, let's get, let's get, let's get this going or, or, and record it or what? Yeah. So pretty much he, well, he wrote the lyrics, you know, and he was like, well, now you, you got to come up with the music, you know, I was like, whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then I, I did that, you know, I had worked the accordion. Cause that's, that's my part, you know, so I came up with the melody and then, yeah, I think it was like that same week it was already. The song was already put together, you know. We just had to go to the studio. Um, I think like the next week after that, um, it was like on a Tuesday, we went to the studio at Freddy's. That was my first time there. I right. Didn't even, I hadn't even signed yet. Uh, you know, we had already just pitched the idea to Freddy, and he was right. interested. He was like, well, yeah, come by the studio, and I'll see what comes out. And knocked out solo in a day. And yeah, um, Richard Rosales of Grupo Signo, he mixing and mastering it, so... 
just blessed to be working along, you know, masters. Oh man. Yeah. Truly blessed, man. You've got an awesome team around you, man. Este, La Familia Martinez also, man. What'd you think about that studio walking into Legends, man? Isn't that something else? Yeah, it was crazy, crazy. Like, uh, like I was telling everybody else, I remember being so small and, you know, not, not being able to comprehend <laughs> things. And, and right. the, the CDs, you know, you just see the trumpet, Freddie Records on, Michael Salgado, Eddie, I mean, Elida, uh, yeah, Ramon Ayala, you know, all the big timers. So, like, yes. to now think that I'm a part of it, it's crazy. And then to step in that studio, be recording in there, it's like... So nostalgic. There's just a feeling in there. It's hard to. Yeah, yeah you got to sort of pitch yourself, man. It's exactly. like, man, am I dreaming, right? It's For like, sure. man. Yeah, that's because awesome, even, man. even like, I mean, I, I know I'm really young, but growing up here in San Antonio, especially, is nothing but the hand of music, you know? Right. And Freddie Martinez, Agustin Ramirez, Sonny Ozuna, you know, all that, those are my grandparents. That's what they used to listen yeah. to. So to think yeah. that I'm working with them too, like, it's just, it's a trip. <laughs> Hey, Nathan, I could tell your your roots go deep, man. Th those are the Hano legends you just mentioned, man. So I could tell at a very young age you were listening to really good music, man, As the, thanks to your grandparents and uh, they were playing all that stuff. So uh, it, it goes back to the to to the roots, right? And then I was mentioning, man, I looked at that poster back there. It's like, man, he's got good taste in rock too, man. That, that's <laughs> awesome, man. Iron Maiden back there, man. As yeah, yeah, the, thank you. Uh, so, uh, you finish, so you finished the song, man. And then after that, I, I'm, I'm thinking, man, it was time to say, Hey, uh, for, for Freddie to say, Hey, Nathan, how would you be like to be part of the team? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometime after there, or we were just in communications, you know, it was back and forth, the process too, but it took a couple months to get it together. Recorded in November and we signed in, I signed in March. So, and then April, the single came out, you know, and that's the thing too. And this thing is. Patience is key, you know, and there you go. I was, Good point. Um, Good point. I was very eager and anxious, you know, to get things out. But it's like, Jesse, what I was telling you, you know, just like your time's coming, you know, just wait yeah. and, and also enjoy everything that's happening, you know, because take it and in. in the moment we're worried about what's going to happen, you know, like, is it all or is everybody like it? How's, you know, what's going to, how's this going to work? And then we're just like so worried, caught up, you're not like enjoying it, you know, living in the moment. And that's right. Important. No, man, I could tell already you're grasping all of that already, man. And that's that to see that at such a young age, man, is, is awesome, man, because you're right. It, you just got to I know at first you just man, I'm dying to get started. Let's get this going. But it, it takes a little bit. Uh, how long did it take you guys to 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 to, to complete the recording, man? Uh, the first single, the recording, it was done that, that same day. It was done, you know, um, just on wow. the logistic, the business side of it, you know, with, with uh, yeah, the that's company longest. and all that. Yeah, yes. and then, well, it's a big step for me. You know, I'm 18 years old. Yeah, like, I man. never signed nothing. So to sign something is, like, <laughs> scary. Um, but, yeah, that's what, that was really, like, the big concern for me. And you know, what I was just waiting on, taking time, you know. But, yeah, thankfully, everything came out good. And now we're here. <laughs> man, just to think, Nathan, you, you signed uh, with a company that is known, predominantly known, for to produce Grammy winners, man. As the, yeah, it, it's just... Artist after artist, man. So uh, I'm sure when you when you had that piece of paper sitting in front, of you, he's like, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a, big step. <laughs> it's a big step, man. But uh, man, congratulations, man. Uh, what Thank a path, you. man. What an opportunity for you. Super happy for you, man. You got a bright future ahead of yourself, man. As and the few bits that we've been talking, man, I could really tell you got a great head and shoulders, man, and some good plans. También. So um, let's talk about that because uh, solo, your newest single. Want to tell everybody out there, get it downloaded. It's available in every platform. The other thing, too, about that, man, uh, before we go any further, you have a pretty good video, too, that you made for it that's uh, available on Freddy TV for download. If you haven't checked it out, get uh, Freddy TV, subscribe to it. Nathan's video is on there as well. But uh, you guys, uh, where was that filmed at, Nathan? That was all here in San Antonio on the, on the south side, you know, different locations. But that was uh, okay. Jesse, Jesse Turner directed it, too, also. That's why... Um, you know, it, it's got detail and it's like a whole movie because if anyone knows Jesse, they know how he is. He's very uh, yeah. picky on, you know, everything has to be to the T. And thank, thankfully, you know, I wouldn't want it to be no other way. <laughs> I could, without knowing, man, I could kind of tell because it fits in. It goes with the story, man. Uh, right. So it it it, uh, it it was very well put together. Y los invitamos que que lo bajen el video. Uh, Freddy TV. Uh, go to YouTube uh, dot com and 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 look uh, look up Freddy uh, Records uh, TV and look up Nathan Acosta uh, solo. 
uh, but as well as the single uh, on every digital platform. Now it's doing well, man. So uh, you've had a great start already to that. Este, but what are the plans, man? Uh, I know you've been touring with uh, with Signal, uh, right? And you take the stage. Uh, one of my, I guess, m me putting myself as an 18 year old man to to kind of like yourself, man. You 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 weren't uh, taking any big stages or nothing. You were at home practicing, and all of a sudden, Jesse asked you to take the stage, and there's probably 10, 12,000 people in front of you. Talk to me about that experience, man. The first time you took stage, I bet you. Do you remember where you were at, man? Your first performance with them? Uh, been so, yeah, I just, it's a dream to you, man. Yeah, there's been so many shows already. It's it's a trip. But I remember we played a fanfare in March, and there was uh -huh. like twenty thousand people supposedly. Jeez. So like I was just looking out, and like you would just see people like not the ending, you know, and it was crazy. <laughs> like, but honestly, it's. I get real, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shy, reserved boy, you know, so like, I yeah. get real nervous about doing this, doing anything that involves me going, you know, public, but it's just more so like getting ready, preparing myself, like, but before I'm about to go on, I get uh -huh. the jitters, you know, I'm like pacing, like, sweating out of it, <laughs> I'm just getting, I'm a wreck, but once I get on the stage, you know, I'm fine, it's like, it's another show, you know, I don't think, overthink it too much, thankfully, because it'd be hard <laughs> if I was panicking on stage. Yeah, and I've, as you all know, man, I talk to a lot of artists here, right? Interviews and stuff like that I do. And I've had a great working relationship or a relationship with some of them, man. And uh, it's normal to to get those jitters even after years, right? But most of them say, man, and I'm going to ask you if it's the same thing for you. Uh, the nerves are there until you hit that first note. And once once you get going, it seems like you just get in the moment and everything goes away. Is that is that what yeah. you experienced too, man? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's just going up there, you know? seeing different people like how are they gonna react but once you're up there <laughs> they're not gonna take yeah. you off so you gotta show yeah. so much you, <laughs> you got nowhere else to go right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah pretty much yeah uh so the plans man uh like i said solo was your single and um for my understanding man uh you guys are putting together uh some material to work on an album talk to me a little about that man i see yes yes jesse's gonna be producing this uh this whole first album and so thank God for that. You know, I have a great team too. You know, Signal's helping with whatever they can. Then I have, thankfully, I know a lot of uh, musicians. You know, that are all willing to help him. But yeah, we're, uh, we just got done recording a cumbia actually that was written by Turner Two. It's locked and ready to go to. You know, hopefully, uh, we'll see how time plays out with the singles and we'll see when that releases. We got a, a ranchera too, like old school norteño. You know, like okay. Ramon dancing stuff done but yeah we're just um getting material ready you know for an album all sorts of different styles you know i've always i've like i like a bunch of music so i don't like to tame myself to just one one so you're gonna <laughs> offer a variety uh, a good variety on your album yeah sure. yeah yeah este how about uh performances man i i know you've done a ton este with signal uh on, on tour este um are you going to continue? Are are you still doing that? And and uh, what are the plans for the future for you, Nathan, uh, as far as touring? I see. Yes, yes. Um, I'm on tour with Signal currently, and uh, I'll keep doing that for the meantime. I'm just a featured act. You know, I go up and play a couple of songs, play solo. Thankful to Turner for giving me that spot. You know, because he does it because he wants people to know me. You know, and right, nobody's gonna. Right. Yeah, they can't just put me out there if nobody knows me. You know. Exactly. So he gives me that spotlight, and I tell everybody I'm super blessed, you know, because nobody at that caliber wants to do that, you know. They say right. they will, but they, they really won't. You know? Yeah. And it's crazy to see that he's just so, he shares the spotlight. It's just crazy to, to, to experience that with him. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm with Signal, and slowly but surely, I'm just looking for my group of guys, you know, I, I want my band, you know, the young, yep. young, uh, striving musicians who want who want to move forward advance in, in the music you know not just play for money or for fun or obviously fun, but you know just to, to get by yeah um but yes hopefully soon i'll get my band together and then we'll be opening well, you, up you, for signal hopefully one day <laughs> you guys heard it right there man as the if, if you're a young musician talented musician at that level man as the you might start wanting to hit Nathan up, say, hey, here's my number. When the time comes, give me a holler, man. I'd like to audition. What a great opportunity, man. Uh, I see. I see. I, 
for sure, for sure. If whoever's interested, you know, um, we're scouting, looking, you know, trying to yeah. pick the right guys. So for sure. <laughs> yep. You've got a good team around you, man. The, the next step is to build uh, an awesome team that is yours, right? To take on the road. But exactly. Aurorita, man, you've got a solid base, man. It doesn't get any better than that. Uh, to have a mentor uh, like Jesse, man, that, uh, I mean, I reflect back when he started, man, kind of flash, gives me flashbacks of you, right? At that <laughs> age, right? And then also Richard, man. Richard's been in the business for a long, long time, brother. Este, and, and an awesome producer as well, man. Man, it, it, I, I really and truly, man, you're blessed to have such a great team, brother. For Esther. sure. Yeah. I know Esther. not not many uh, teenagers my age, you know, go experience all of this. So I'm really blessed, and I thank God every day for allowing me and giving me these opportunities. For sure. Uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, JT Entertainment, man. Uh, you, uh, Jesse's got himself a nice uh, group uh, of artists there, uh, starting with yourself, Esther. Lucky Joe. Este, who who else is on there with you? Uh, you and Lucky. Uh, Cesar Queoso. Andale. And Winces Romo. Yeah, just okay. us five. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Wow, big things coming, man. Uh, big things coming, man. Este, um, social media, Nathan. How how can people este follow you, man, and keep in touch with what you're doing and so forth? You got Facebook, Instagram. Este, if you mind sharing that, man. Uh, yes, on, on my social media, you could find me at Nathan Acosta underscore 24 on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of it. Nathan Acosta underscore 24. Okay. At least you kept it simple, man. And yeah. it's, it's easy to follow you in, in, in all the platforms because sometimes artists have different names because somebody took their name on an Instagram or Facebook and they got to change it up. At least you, you have the same as the uh, account name for, for all platforms, man. And how often do you post? And let me ask you this, man, not to put you in a spot, but do you do you often as to interact with the fans out there, man? Uh yeah, I, I interact with fans as much as I can. You know, those are those are who they're gonna make you or they're gonna break you, you know. There you go, man. There so you go. Especially in person, you know, when, you know, they come up to me and they tell me like, Oh, I heard your song. Like it's crazy too now more as the time's going on, kids are coming up or younger people. And That's like, awesome. Man, I love your song and like, it's so weird because I know how it probably makes them feel, or, you know, they're probably going through a moment. And, like, I know how that song makes me feel. I can only right. imagine how it makes them feel. Um, exactly. But, yeah, yeah I, I, on social media, I just I try to stay engaged as much as possible. It gets hard sometimes going on the road, school. Yeah. I'm trying to finish school, so that's been a problem, too. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always posting stuff, uh, covers. I haven't done covers in a while, but they're, they're always going to be there. And, of course, our live performances. And I've been doing um. Actually, this past weekend, I just started recording a, a vlog, like a little vlog channel on the weekends with Signal. So that's awesome, really man. Start coming out and yeah, yeah just that's... trying to stay more engaged with the with the audience and social media. You know what'd be cool, man? Uh, four years from now, to take a look at that vlog when you start it to where right. you're going to be at, God willing, in four years, you can say, man, all this was just a trip, man. It was so fast, and but look at where I am now. Uh, that That's awesome. I'm glad you're doing that, man, uh, because sometimes things happen so fast, uh, like they said, that it's just like a dream, man. So it's good to document as much as you can, brother. Este, sure. You mentioned high school, man. Este, you're a senior, right? Uh, what, school, what school in San Antonio, Nate? Yes, sir. I go to McCullum. I'm going to graduate from McCullum High School to Congratulations, man. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, sir, thank you, thank you so uh, yeah, right? You're almost done, man. Yes, sir. We finish uh, school next Wednesday and then May 30th is graduation. The kid there you go, man. So it's crazy, man. It's a trip. Actually, today I just, this morning I registered for Palo Alto College here in San Antonio. So I was just thinking and reflecting back like, man, it's crazy how time passed by so fast. And, you know, yeah. this, chap this chapter is coming to an end and moving on to something another else. One's, <laughs> another one's beginning. Very yeah. true, man. Another one's beginning, man. Well, okay. congratulations, man. And also congrats, man, on continuing your education at Palo Alto, man. Wishing you nothing but the best there, man. Este, so you're going to, I'm thinking you're going to pursue both, right? The music and uh, school. Este, and uh, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you're going to do that. Any idea, man, what you're going to study for yet? Or are you just looking at getting some of the basic stuff out of the way? Well, right now I have to get the basics out of me, but I'm not sure yet. I've always wanted to, I've always seen myself owning a business. So right now I'm going to do um, business management, entrepreneurship. There you go. But 
I'm not sure. You know, I was at this age. I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. So, I'm hey Nathan, as as uh, right now, I can tell you from advice, brother, uh, the way your career's going so far, that that business degree can come in handy. So at least when you you grow to be a, a big artist, man, you know what you're looking at from a business aspect, right? So it'll <laughs> it'll definitely come in handy, man. See, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna end up doing that, you know, because I could always do what I could always make a business, you know, with something Absolutely, whatever man. I love. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, cool deal, man. Este, how about uh, saluditos? Uh, you want to send any special shout outs, special thanks to anybody, man, that's out there? Uh, no, just saludos and thank yous to the fans, the people who are watching us, uh, my family and friends who share my stuff, my team, really. Um, JT Entertainment, Yvette, Kenya, Richard, Jesse, everybody. Thank you for always having my back, supporting me with all of this, helping me. Uh, to Freddie Records, you know, for believing in me, giving me the opportunity. Yeah. And yeah, thank you to you for giving me this this outlet también. No, for sure, man. And like I said, truly, truly uh, grateful that, uh, uh, you know, a young man like yourself, busy, uh, right before graduation, man, a lot of kids are out there partying and 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 getting their their groove on right before graduation, <laughs> man. And and Nathan is focused on on priorities, man. You're doing the right thing, son. You you got a good head on your shoulders, man. I know you're gonna do good, man. As that you're off to a tremendous start, uh, so I'm super happy for you, man. We need we need more, as you all know, Nathan. We need more of you in in La Onda right now, man. And hopefully, you can inspire others to do the same thing, man. For sure. I, I hope I hope I can inspire people. You know, I just want to see young people doing or keeping our culture alive, really. You there know, you go. That's all. That's big, brother. Este, how about uh, upcoming shows, man? I know I know Signo's busy on the road. Uh, any anywhere you got any gig, gigs coming up soon with Signo to where folks can. How, you know, I just saw Nathan on a podcast. He's mentioned he was going to be here. Maybe we can go check him out. Yes, sir. This uh, this Saturday we'll be in Kyle, Texas at a festival. So we'll be there with Signo. And then the next weekend, we're going to be in Grand Prairie at the Trader's Village over there. That's right. So, yeah. And then, of course, more shows. I, it's hard to remember. But follow us uh, at Signo and me too. I share all of our dates and you could come check us out. I'd love to meet you. Oh, yeah, pues, in Grand Prairie, you're, you're in my backyard, man. That, that's oh, where I'm at. Yeah, in, fact, yeah. in fact, from here, man, I could probably throw a dart and hit it. Where <laughs> it is that. So, as mas, if I, if I go out there, yo te un taquito de fajitas or something, man, so you can have it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, por segurito, man. Love to, love to say hi to you, man. But, uh, primero que nada, muchísimas gracias otra vez, Nathan. Uh, los invitamos a todos otra vez para bajar el sencillo. Solo, que está disponible en todas las plataformas digitales. We invite everybody to download Solo. If you've not uh, downloaded it yet, it's available on every platform. It's an awesome song written by Jesse Turner, uh, arranged, uh, according arrangements by Nathan. We did a, you did an awesome job, man. As the, and and uh, it's on Freddie Records. That's the other thing, too. He's He's got a... The single is available on video, so you can catch that on, on Freddy Records TV on on YouTube and, uh, and and catch it there. Well, Nathan, thank you so much, man. It was truly a pleasure to meet you. Este, uh, congratulations again on your graduate uh, on your graduation coming up, man. Thank you be you. careful out there, este, and we'll be talking to everybody pretty soon. We'll see you all later. Thank you, everyone. Nos vemos.